Nathan Adams and Brandon James along with you here at Harper Creek High School for a high school basketball game of the night and a very impressive Crosstown Interstate 8 game like it always is between Harper Creek and Penfield. And it was Penfield who had the lead for a better part of the second half, but it was a Keegan Nikolic three-pointer that tied it up at 38, sent to an overtime period, but Penfield would be able to prevail by a score of 55-49 to over the Harper Creek Beavers tonight. Yeah, we got to see uh, some bonus basketball as it went to overtime. A uh, very tight game in the first three quarters. Uh, things started to open up a little bit in the fourth. Then it really slowed down, kind of grinded out, and uh, a couple of great plays late in the fourth that gave Harper Creek another shot as they were kind of playing from behind the whole game. Not behind by a lot, uh, but again, it was one of those games where a small lead felt like a big lead. Uh, they were able to knot it up and send it to overtime, uh, but then Penfield was able to, to pull ahead again, and this time they, they didn't let Harper Creek uh, get back in it. Yeah, actually, the largest lead of the night for either squad was seven points, and that was from Penfield early in the fourth, but that's when Harper Creek started to crawl into the game. And as mentioned, Keegan Nicolich hitting a three to tie it up at 38 to send it to the extra period. But then, of course, both teams ended up making their way into the double bonus. It was a battle of free throws, and it was Penfield once again picking up several key points from the free throw line. Yeah, Ryan Peterson had a wonderful game, 23 points, uh, 14 rebounds, struggled at the line a little bit, it was 5 for 10, uh, but he hit a couple when it mattered. Yep. And on the other side for Harper Creek, uh, Raquin Funches. Raquan. Yep. Raquan, sorry, mm -hmm. Funches. Uh, he had 22 points, uh, definitely uh, was leading the team, uh, but there was a, a point where he had five free throws in a short amount of time and was only able to get one out of those five and uh, could have got them back into it within, I think, two points at that point of the game. Uh, and then after that, uh, Penfield really kind of put it away. Yep, and actually Raekwon Funches was just a rebound short of a double-double. He had nine boards tonight. But a, a couple of other key players for Penfield, Gavin Liggett and Sean Gardner, each with 10 points tonight, and uh, both of them scoring some key buckets in the fourth quarter to kind of pace uh, Penfield trying to spread out that lead before Harper Creek came back. So very uh, exciting night of basketball between Harper Creek and Penfield. They get to do it all again in uh, roughly five weeks. It's going to be February 18th, another Tuesday night over at Penfield in our high school basketball game of the night there. Of course, a very busy Tuesday night with all the scores scrolling down below. And uh, we get more high school basketball coming up on Thursday because of Michigan State basketball coming up on Friday. It'll be St. Philip hosting Jackson Christian. Should be a dandy at the Tiger Den. Should be a good one. And uh, again, don't forget to, uh, as you're on the website right now, uh, participate in our first ever listener's choice. A uh, chance for you to pick a game that we will do on January 28th. Uh, four games that can be voted on through the end of this week, through Sunday, actually, evening, and we will announce the winner on Monday. Yep, and uh, one of those games is right back here at Harper Creek with uh, Harper Creek and Parchment in non-conference action. Stevensville Lakeshore at Lakeview, also St. Philip hosting Poland, and then the smaller schools, Calhoun Christian and Battle Creek Academy. Of course, once again, what, like Brandon said, the voting all the way through the end of Sunday and the announcement coming up on Monday. That game is two weeks from this evening on uh, January 28th. It's the first of two listeners' choice games. We have one more coming up in February. Get out and vote. Yep. So that'll do it for us here at Harper Creek. Once again, our final score, 55-49 in overtime. Penfield picking up a win over Harper Creek. We'll see you on Thursday night from the Tiger Den as St. Philip hosts Jackson Christian here on 95.3 WBCK, online at 953wbck.com, and through the WBCK app. We'll see you then.